Well, Ian Cheshire is Kingfisher's chief executive officer and joins us now from one of our central London studios. Mr Cheshire, a very good morning to you. Morning. Look, these are pretty impressive results. They beat analyst estimates. It may sound a bit of a perverse question, but is economic slowdown, recession, actually quite good for your company? Well, I think uh, we've been dealing with flat markets for the last four years. I, I think what we've seen today is the sort of, uh, really the sort of third consecutive year of profit growth from self-help. And um, obviously there are some trends which help us. Uh, people are doing a bit more DIY. They're not maybe moving as much. But on the flip side, we haven't seen new kitchens and uh, bathrooms coming from people, uh, you know, when they move their own home. So we've been dealing with a flat market, but really the teams around the world have managed to produce a fantastic bottom line performance out of uh, not a very easy market. And how key into getting these results better is sourcing and using your position now as a global company to have that leverage to get the same own brand products in stores right around the world? Getting that right must be very challenging. Yeah, it is, it is one of our critical levers, and, and we're announcing today basically the end of four years where we've driven sourcing up over 70%, uh, and that's been a big factor behind our success. The next five years are about going from a, a really a set of parallel businesses, B&Q in the UK, Casto in France, of only about 2% range exactly in common. We think we can go to 50. That's a big transformation exercise, but one that should allow us to unlock the next set of opportunities. And what are the challenges there, though? What are the <coughs> difficulties that you're facing? Because it is easier said than done. It's been tried before. Yeah, I think there are two main issues here. One is you have to get the culture and the people bit right. You know, people have to see this as an opportunity, not as a threat, and a way of uh, actually sort of uh, doing more uh, for the customer. Secondly, I think you've got to think very carefully about getting the product right for individual markets. So we're not saying 100% identical. And uh, if you get that too far, um, if you like, centralised, you could end up losing relevance to your local customers. So we have to stay very close to our local customers, but behave more like a global leader that we think we can become. You've become much more upbeat about the UK's economic performance than you were certainly six months ago. What gives you that optimism? And actually, are you more optimism, or optimistic perhaps today after the budget than you were yesterday before Britain's budget? Uh, I, I'm not sure I would say I'm much, much more optimistic. I mean, I think I'm, I'm slightly more optimistic, um, you know, but I still think markets are probably, you know, flattish. Um, but I think what we are seeing in the UK are some early signs. Um, you know, I think the Chancellor yesterday being able to put three and a half billion pounds into our customers' pockets, that's over 20 million people, uh, is, is a good move. Uh, and there are other good indicators in things like new, new buy schemes and get Britain building. So I think there are some signs. I think it's also the human dimension of people beginning to feel with the Jubilee and with the Olympics that actually things are looking a little bit brighter and that, you know, it's been a long, hard slog and perhaps, you know, we're beginning to get towards the end of it. But I don't think we're going to see a, a rapid bounce back to high growth. And what about China? Just about breaking even as far mm -hmm. as your Chinese operations are concerned. We've got more disappointing news, I suppose, on manufacturing today. Is a weakening property outlook in China a real concern for you? Well, I think, first of all, the team have done a fantastic job to go from a sort of £60 million pound loss to, to virtually break even and cash neutral, which is, gives us a base. Um, secondly, we've been having difficult property markets now for the last um, really year or so. You know, property sales have been down over 30, 40 percent in many of the major cities. Uh, and that makes it harder for the business to trade. But we believe the long term opportunity in China makes it sufficiently interesting that we're testing a new format to see whether we can actually reposition the business. Um, because even with those growth numbers, it's still a massive home improvement market, um, potentially the second largest in the world. So we're taking our time to figure out what we can do there. Ian Cheshire, Kingfisher Chief Executive Officer, I'm grateful to you. Thanks for Thanks joining us much. here on Bloomberg Today.